So it's five in favor, three opposed. The motion carries. Don't be fooled by that silence. Muted in the background are screams of joy by many of the delegates and people watching who have been fighting to fly the flag for the past nine months, one of whom is Nick Hotchkiss. The motion was passed just before 12.30 a.m. on January 19th, nearly five and a half hours after the meeting began and following several delegations in support, including Nick's. They say they weren't sure how it was going to go since it didn't pass the first time last April. I had a few ways I envisioned the night going down in terms of who would vote which way. Um, I was hoping we'd be able to sway certain trustees to change their decisions from the last year. And I'm glad um, that trustee DeRosa and sort of the 11th hour, um, as he said, gave students the benefit of the doubt um, and was able to let this decision pass. I wasn't expecting him to switch. And the second that I was tallying them on my fingers, I was counting to myself. And the second that he said, I support this motion, I stopped breathing. I held my breath for the rest of the count. Um, and then I just started crying. I was crying nonstop for probably about 20 minutes. I called both of my sisters, one of whom was calling long distance from France and stayed up to watch the delegation, six hours time difference. Um, I called both of my parents who were watching at home and they were cheering and they were screaming. I got DM messages from other people who had delegated last year saying they woke up student houses and roommates because of the cheers they let out. And it was just a very emotionally charged moment. And it was just a high that I rode for like the rest of the night. Trustee Brenda Agnew certainly felt that high as well, having been the one to put forward the motion in the first place. She says going into this meeting, she was cautiously optimistic. Again, it's such a divisive issue. Um, for anyone that listened to the meeting, it was a long meeting. Um, the debate was long. There was a lot of back and forth discussion, and you just never know. You really, truly don't know um, how it's going to go. We had some amendments suggested. So... I was staying optimistic. I came in last night optimistic and I was staying optimistic, but I was, you know, the palms were getting sweaty um, as we went to take the vote. Um, so it was, you know, it's been a long, it's been a long uphill battle, um, I think, to, to have this done and, and just, you know, hearing that we had that motion supported last night at the table. Um, it was just a fantastic feeling, you know, especially hearing from all of the incredible delegates last night and how important this was uh, for so many people. And just to know that we had done right by them, it was just a wonderful feeling. So a bit of shock, but a lot of a lot of happiness for sure. So come June, Catholic schools across Halton will raise the pride flag. A symbol Nick says will be a visible reminder that students and staff in the 2SLGBTQ plus community are safe and welcome in their schools. Nick also says in their mind, it's in keeping with the key teaching in the Catholic faith. Which is love thy neighbor. Um, that's pretty much like the key core lesson of Catholicism and Christianity. And flying this flag is a sense of community. It is loving your neighbor. It is loving yourself. And I think that it might take some other people a bit longer to realize that, but hopefully this June they'll be able to see the impact that it has.